Here All we right. are. We're um, back again. It must be 2022 because I only get one multiplex match a year. And I feel like time flies by when you're having fun, I guess, DMC. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're done. We're through. We're in 2022. You're getting your first match early in the next year. And we get to play Bar and Kirk, who I really enjoy as people. But, damn it, they are good. But, hey, yeah. we won. Yeah, no, it's, it's very it's poetic in- here. It's very poetic here. Uh, Kirk was in my play-in match along with some guy named Jacoby. I don't know what Jacoby's doing now. Uh, but uh, Kirk, you know, still around the fan leagues, you know. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm looking forward to this match. I mean, there's a lot of adversity on, you know, both sides here. So let's do it. Hey, let's, let's have fun. And bars learn to tip as waitresses, everyone. Just going to throw that out yeah, there. Yeah, sharpen our swords, too. Sharpen our swords. Uh, fire, and, <laughs> fire and whatever Robert said, too. You know what else I can tip? My finger up like this. Uh, Kirk, how you feeling today? I'm feeling good. Uh, at the, or, uh, Aaron's bringing back some good memories. I remember that play match. I remember his giant, I miss his giant board. Like, <laughs> so it was just like, here's my, here's my board. Um, <laughs> it's got smaller, uh, but he's got better. Uh, so, I mean, we've got to take the match seriously. I've got, you know, we don't take, we, we don't overlook anybody. We're definitely, definitely not overlooking these guys. Uh, we know they put the work, work in, they take the matches seriously mm-hmm. and, um, yeah, they're not to be, um, you know, skipped over or passed over at all. Um, so it should be a good match. What do you think about it? Yeah. I mean, these are two guys that have vastly improved since they've, uh, debuted. So we're not going to take them lightly. Um, so basically guys, best of luck to you. Hopefully. More luck to us. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Multiplex Movie Warzone. I'm your host, Caleb Lobo Boatman, and today we got another match for seeding in the upcoming Movie Warzone Teams Tournament. Uh, we got two teams that won their debut matches, Bullets Over Broadway going up against WLC, or as I call it, B.O.B. versus WLC. Please, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Uh, we filmed this at 6 EST. Uh, so... We're gonna bring both teams in, and we will get a purpose when I'm in the background just to watch. <laughs> We're gonna get started. Almost a spit take on that one, but with almost a spit take. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. Uh, so we're going to get started with round one. Round one's going to work like this. Eight different questions, eight different categories. You get all eight right, you get a bonus question. That's how this all works. So if everyone is ready, we will get started with your first question. It comes in the category of classics. What political office does Jefferson Smith hold in Mr. Smith Goes to Washington? Uh, it's funny, I actually have uh, Jimmy Stewart right here. Mar! Mar! And now, now he's gone. Yeah. That was almost as setting as the sunglass flip that Barr had in his promo. <laughs> Four, I blinked and they were gone. I didn't see that. <laughs> One, starting with Kirk. Senator. And Anthony. Senator. And uh, Barr. Senator. And Aaron. Hello, Senator. <laughs> Senator is correct. A clean sweep. Get out the broom. As we get into your second question in the category of Oscars, who won the most recent Best Director Oscar? Oh. Different noises from the competitors. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Anthony. Uh, there's Chloe something, but I don't remember the last. And Kirk. I blanked on her name. And Barr. My spelling's, I think, off. Chloe Zhao? No, it's not. Aaron. Oh, hey. <laughs> My spelling's dead on. Chloe Zhao. <laughs> Your spelling is both correct. Good job. Nice job. Do we win the spelling bee? I wanted to give you a no, hint, and say it's a movie you'd hate. Your That's what I was about question. to say. The third question comes in the category of fantasy sci-fi. Keanu Reeves, Jennifer Connelly, and Jaden Smith star in what remake? Uh, Keanu Reeves. There was someone with a pencil. Five. Oh. Three, two, one. 
pens down. Let's go to Aaron. I'm thinking of the right movie. I can't use my big board. The day the earth stood still. And Bart. Oh, shoot. I said the day after tomorrow. That's this earth. And Kirk. The day the earth stood still. And Anthony. Forgot that movie existed. That is fair. Most I feel like most people did. To get into your fourth question in the category of action adventure. Cobra takes place in what? In what what? The dog was barking. City. I'll give you a technical. Sorry. Cobra takes place in what city? Uh, that is a technical foul on, uh, was that Chico? I'll assume uh, that. No, that, that time it was Finney. Uh, got a few yeah. dogs here, six currently, so might that's happen fair. again. No, that's fair. Three more, they get taken out of the game. Five. <laughs> well. <laughs> Three, two, one. Pens down. I don't know how basketball works. Let's go <laughs> to Bart. Is it Los Angeles? And Kirk. Heads or tails, I said Los Angeles. And Aaron. I went with Los Angeles as well. And Anthony. I suck. I said Rio. I thought South America. Uh, Los Angeles is correct. Fun fact, that script was originally titled Beverly Hills Cop before we made changes to it. I Can I just it. take a second real quick to put this yeah, dog yeah. upstairs? Because yeah. she's not, she's not going to, sorry. Okay, so B.O.B. versus W.L.C. I've uh, got be built of Broadway at six, W.L.C. at five. So as we get into Westerns, who plays singer Lilith Von Stuck in Blazing Saddles? I probably had to put a little more German emphasis into that, but that's okay. Is it? I don't think this is. Right. German always. Yeah. That's Chico. Yeah. That's. I, I know it. I know it, Chico. Two, <laughs> uh, pens down. Pens down. Let's go to. I didn't have it time. And Anthony. Madeline Kahn. And Bar. Madeline Kahn. And Aaron. No, I didn't have it. It's Mary Steenburgen. I think I made that uh, name up. Madeline Kahn is correct. Flames That's on the side of her face. As we get into your fifth question, sorry, your sixth question, category of biopics. Joseph Gordon-Levitt played what real-life person in a biopic directed by Oliver Stone? Oh. And I believe now there are no perfect rounds. Nobody's perfect. You, I gotta work it. Five, four, three. Can't oh, hear that. One day. One. Pens down. Let's go to WLC or Aaron. I'm uh, Edward Cullen. I mean Edward Snowden. <laughs> and Kirk. I got the wrong name. I said John. I could get the first name right. And Anthony. Oh, I didn't know if you needed the first name. I said Snowden. And Bar. I thought you were about to ask for the guy from The Walk. Edward Snowden. Oh, was not gonna Edward right. Snowden is correct. We did need what real life person was part of the question, so we unfortunately can't give Anthony the point for Snowden. Mm. He's still still a person. Not Thomas me. Snowden, <laughs> Alvin Snowden. We're not accepting just Kate. That <laughs> question in scores and soundtracks. Who composed the score for Forrest Gump? Uh, Gump, the subject of a great Weird Al parody. Uh, it's Gump. It's Gump. Is he Nick? Yeah. Five. Everybody. Four. Three. Two. Seriously. One. Pen down. So many technical fouls. Like <laughs> the bar. Alan Silvestri. And Kirk. Alan Silvestri. Correct. And Aaron. No, I went with Hans Zimmer. And Anthony. Alan Silvestri. Alan Silvestri is correct. So we get into your final question in the category of drama. Drama. What film is about a Mississippi lawyer who defends a black man accused of murdering two white men, inciting violent retribution from the KKK? You got this, Kirk. 
This is a maybe. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Aaron. Mississippi burning. And Bart. And I hope they burn in hell. A time to kill. And Kirk. A time to kill. And Anthony. A time to kill. A time to kill is correct. So it is 12 to 9. Uh, Bolts over Broadway's lead as we get into round two. Round two is going to work like this. Each team is going to get a chance to spin the wheel if they like, but they spin, they can keep it. If they don't, they can spin again, but then they're stuck with it. We're going to get five questions in whatever category they get. They get it right, two points, multiple choice, one point. Get it wrong, other team gets a chance to steal, so watch out. Categories on our lovely wheel tonight are Bullets Over Broadway Strength, up directed by Mike Nichols and Neil Simon Stage to Screen Adaptations, uh, WLC Strength, uh, directed by David Cronenberg, and A24. We also have Western Musical Class and Coming of Age slash Team. So, uh, Bullets Over Broadway, we would like to spend first for defer. We will defer our entrance. Sure. Yeah, we'll defer. Okay. WLC, this is your first spin. We will spin. Yeah. We, we want to do promos first. We want to spin first. And you land on Mike Nichols directed. Like I mean, play. let's, uh, you know, I, me and Barb had a great time going back and forth on my letterbox lately. Uh, Kurt's joined in. Yeah, let's keep it, man. We, all right. Yeah, this is this is pretty much you. We so. got it. All right. Well, all right. Let's go. Okay. I will give you your questions in the category of Mike Nichols directed. Your first question In primary colors, Jack Stanton is a governor of what U.S. state? It's, it's Arkansas. I'm pretty sure they went that. Right, it's that Bill right? Yeah. I mean, it's not, but it, Arkansas final answer. That is correct for two points. It's not, but it is. It, it is. <laughs> it is. Part, what real-life person is federally investigating Charlie Wilson in Charlie Wilson's war? I think I'll be able to get on multiple. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it without it. So we'll go multiple. All right. Multiple choice options are A, Alan Dershowitz, B, Colin Powell, C, Condoleezza Rice, B, Rudy Giuliani. It's Rudy Giuliani. Go Final ahead. answer. That is correct for one point. Your third question. What singer plays Lieutenant Edward J. Nately? In Catch Twenty Two, I think I'm gonna go for it. Scatman uh, Crothers, is that how you say it? Scatman? Scatman Crothers. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Scatman Crothers. Final answer. Final answer. That is incorrect. Bullets over Broadway right. for the two point steal. Kirk, it's Art Garfunkel. Go for My it. Bad. Art yeah. Garfunkel. Final answer. That is correct for two no points. I probably should wait to say my bad till they. You don't have to. <laughs> yeah, it seemed pretty confident. <laughs> Your fourth question: Where is Charlotte's body found in Wolf? Multiple choice. Right. Multiple choice options are: A. Randall's house, B. Central Park, C. A bank vault, D. Coney Island. I'm I'm gonna go with A final answer. A is incorrect. Bullets over Broadway for the mul for the one point steal. Your multiple choice options are A Randall's house, B Central Park, C a bank vault, D Coney Island. Kirk at Central Park. All you? Central Park final answer. That is correct for one point. And your final question. What university does Elaine attend in the graduate? I'll know it as soon as it hits multiple choice, but um, let me just. Anthony, can you bring your other hand up, please? Thanks. Uh, oh, I need multiple choice. Yeah, that's fine. Multiple yeah. choice. Multiple choice options are A, UCLA, B, Georgetown, C, Berkeley, D, Stanford. I think it's uh, Berkeley. Or actually, right. I'm going to go Stanford. Sure. Take your time. Five. Can I get a repeat of the options? Yes. A, UCLA, B, Georgetown, 
C. Berkeley, D. Stanford. Uh, D, final answer. That is incorrect. Bullets over Broadway for the one-point steal. Your options are A, UCLA, B, Georgetown, C, Berkeley, D, Stanford. I believe it's Berkeley. Go for it. Berkeley, final answer. That is correct for one point. My bad. Yeah, no worries. I, I, I wish I could help. I didn't want to. No, nah, it was on me. And I it is 16 to 12 as we get into Bullets over Broadway spin. And your first spin is going to land on musicals. Would you like to keep that or spin again? I feel safe with it. I'll take it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> your first question in the category of musicals. In what 2010s, sorry, in what 2010s musical would you find the songs The City's Yours, Opportunity, and Who Am I? Oh, that's Les Miserables. No way, opportunity. I, yeah. I, I would go multiple, multiple choice to be safe. Right? Yeah. Multiple, multiple choice. choice. Multiple choice options are A, The Greatest Showman, B, Annie, C, Rock of Ages, D, Anna and the Apocalypse. Okay, good. Um, I want to hear those one more time, personally. Could you, you, could you want to repeat the whole question? Or just the no, it's just the options. Okay. Yeah, Annie the Greatest Showman, B Annie, C Rock of Ages, D Anna and the Apocalypse. I think it's Annie. That's what I was thinking too. Okay, uh, Annie. Final answer. That is correct for two points or one point. One, one point. I mean, we'll take a second point. Correct. Right. <laughs> no, you don't need it. No take backs. <laughs> At the end of Greece, in an effort to impress Sandy, Danny joins what school sport? It's uh, it's track, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, it comes a track right there. Uh, you want to go with that? Yeah. Track, final answer. Correct for two points. Nice. I hate that movie. So I had, like... <laughs> in Newsies, what future U.S. president intervenes in the strike and convinces Jack not to move to Santa Fe? Oh, I think the, I know who it is, but... The stage version is Teddy Roosevelt, right? I think it might be, because doesn't it take place in, like, the late 1890s? Yeah, do you want to go multiple just to be safe? Three, two. Yeah, multiple, multiple choice. choice. Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, Woodrow Wilson, B, Teddy Roosevelt, C, Warren G. Harding, D, Herbert Hoover. And he said future president, right? Yeah. So if yeah, he's placed... Well, yeah, because I think he was, I think he was uh, like running and like the papers were like helping with his campaign. Well, it was after McKinley was shot, and yeah. that was 1901, so let's go with wow. Teddy Roosevelt. Cool. Teddy Roosevelt, final answer. That is correct for one point. Being a history nerd works out. <laughs> In the prom, the group of Broadway performers first meet Emma at what kind of occasion? Oh, I think it's a hotel, but I, I'm not positive. Multiple? Yeah, multiple choice. Yeah. Multiple choice options are A, play rehearsal, B, PTA meeting, C, protest, D, monster truck rally. I think they meet her at the PTA meeting. You seem, you seem like you knew it, so go yeah. ahead. Yeah, uh, PTA meeting, final answer. That is correct for one point. Damn it. And we are in a situation where if Bullets Over Broadway hits this for uh, two points, then it is a knockout. So, your final question. Who plays Tracy's father in 2007's Hairspray? It's Christopher Walken. Go for it. Christopher Walken, final answer. And your winner, by way of knockout, is Bullets Over Broadway, 23-12. As uh, that is the match, so we are going to go over to our unfortunate second place tonight, WLC. Uh, WLC, just kind of a bad round two spin for you guys. Round one, you, you hung in there, but round two, you just Mike Nichols wasn't quite what you were expecting. How are you feeling? Uh, it's on me. I, I said uh, we talked about before the match. Uh, the, I don't want to really give away much, but definitely uh, this was one of the ones we were taking no matter what. And, uh, yeah, I blew it today, so it sucks. But uh, 
at least this match didn't take too long. So, yeah, there we go. We, we made it short and sweet for you. I mean, Aaron carried me for a while, a while in round one. I had no – I was just struggling for, like, four straight questions. Uh, he did well. Round two, uh, you know, we studied him, and you just get the questions that maybe he's not stuck out from the movie. We thought we were prepared. Clearly, uh, just maybe not as well. It's just – it's rough that, you know, he had to do a brunt of the work for this one because I was working on other ones. Um, but – you know, it is what it is. They're a great team. I mean, they are – you got a champion and perennial contenders over there on a team together, and they're going to be good. But, you know, the next time we have a little bit of a better round two, we stay in the game a little longer. We weren't down that much after one. And both of us, you know, we didn't have our best round one that we've had in a while. So it is what it is. We'll be back. You are still in the tournament. Uh, so uh, what uh, – are there any teams you're hoping you will get to face in the tournament? You can't really call anybody out when you get KO'd. You just take what's next. At least yeah, we're, we're perspective. So, on that one. I'd love to play uh, Barr and Kirk again and give them an actual match. I feel bad that we didn't give them like a proper match. I was looking forward to this one. I respect the guys a lot. Yeah. Worked a lot and worked hard on Mike Nichols. Um, and just, you know, I'll get better at it, and eventually it'll be a strength I use for our matches. But for now, let's get back to it. But appreciate you guys having us. Yep. Fair enough. Thank you, WLC. Now we will go to our winners tonight. You guys won by knockout. How are you feeling? I mean, it always feels good to win by knockout, but it always <clears throat> it all, it always kind of like hurts when you're playing a team that is really as good um, as Anthony and Aaron are. I know they put in a lot of work, um, and they're honestly they're a team that I think will do really well in the tournament. Um, so it feels good, um, but there's always that little you know that that little bit as well. Yeah, I mean, they they took the – taking your opponent's strength is always a, always a ballsy move, and I respect that. Respect. And, and I know uh, Aaron put the work in. Sometimes you just – when you're going for that – I've been there. You go through his moves for the first time, and you don't catch everything maybe you need to catch. Um, like I said, I know it's probably something he'll be you know, a lot stronger down the road. Um, but, no, they played great, um, you know, for, 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 for what they – you know, for the outcome. Um, I think they played better than that looks. And um, I feel like I, I, in round one, I blanked on a couple names, so I got work to do. I think I was just not in the best place today. Uh, Bar definitely, I mean, obviously with musicals, Bar carried us through that. So, you know, he, he, he did most of the heavy lifting. Uh, but, you know, wins a wins, KOs KO, I'll take it. Fair enough. Well, thank you uh, to Bullets Over Broadway. Actually, before you go, uh, you are now pretty high seated in the tournament. Is there any team you're hoping to face in that tournament? Um. A team I'd really like to play is Double Indemnity at some point. Um, I, I really think that just would be a really good balanced even match. Fair and uh, yeah, I feel like I mean we'll play. We want to make a deep run, and we're going to play some oh, good yeah. teams. So uh, we'll take whoever you throw at us. Fair enough. Well, thank you to Bolts of Broadway. Uh, yeah. So uh, that. It uh, concludes the match. Uh, you know, some knockouts not always what we want to see. But, you know, sometimes Will goes a certain way, and when you got two strong players like Kirk and Barr, sometimes that happens. So, thank you to Bullet of Broadway. Thank you to WLC. This has been Multiplex Movie Wars on I'm Kill Will Bob Boatman. Thanks for watching. Bye bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye bye. bye.